Disney and Marvel recently released their latest lineup of shows and movies coming to Disney Plus and theaters everywhere over the next few years. But some fans were surprised to see that the previously announced Disney Plus show Armor Wars was mysteriously left off. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what has happened to the show and how it will impact the Marvel Cinematic Universe, aka the MCW. So what happened to Armor Wars? Armor Wars was set to be a show starring Don Cheadle's James Rhodes, aka Rhodey, aka War Machine, and his struggle to be the sidekick of a best friend and mentor who is no longer alive. The show was meant to explore Rhodey's new adventures following the death of Tony Stark. The storyline and the potential for a great story were there. And when it was originally announced back in 2020, fans were excited. After all, we have never seen Rhodey in his own TV show before as the main character, so it was certainly going to be new territory for everyone. However, at the recent San Diego Comic-Con, Marvel left Armor Wars off the timeline for both phases five and six. Now, some of phase six was hidden and we only got to see a small portion of it, but still, we already knew about this show. So if it was going to be in either one of phase five or six, they would have told us. So why was it left off? Well, according to The Hollywood Reporter, the show has been officially retooled to no longer be a show, but a mainline MCU film. While that may sound good, there is a lot to unpack with this news, so let's get right into it. When was this show supposed to be released? With the show being announced back in 2020, fans assumed that this show would roll out after the other mainline Disney Plus Marvel shows like WandaVision, What If, Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and the others that make up the MCU's line of TV shows. But obviously, we are long past that and fans were essentially left in the dark as to when this show would be released. However, we were always told what this show would be about and when it would take place in the MCU. The show was set to take place after the death of Tony Stark and after the events of Secret Invasion, another MCU Disney Plus show that will star Rhodey as the main Marvel hero alongside Nick Fury and Talos the Skrull. The show was meant to follow Rhodey as he traverses the superhero game without his best friend and is now forced to try and be the next Iron Man. The show would set center around a group of people or a certain villain that has stolen Stark tech and is trying to recreate it and mass produce it. And Rhodey is making sure that this tech doesn't fall into the wrong hands. The villain or the group in question would almost certainly be Justin Hammer, the villain from Iron Man 2 who was hellbent on beating Tony Stark and making his own weaponized suit that he could patent and sell to the highest bidder. With Stark now out of the picture, I'm sure Hammer sees this as the perfect opportunity to sneak into the weapons game again and try to become the next Tony Stark. But of course, Tony began the Iron Man project to ensure that powerful weapons didn't fall into the wrong hands and begin to harm the very people they were designed to protect, which is, of course, of no concern to Justin Hammer. As long as he gets his pockets lined, he doesn't care who buys his weapons or what they use them for. This, of course, will set Rhodey off and cause a massive riff between the two of them. While this all sounds well and good, now that this show is set to be a film, how does this change the plot and how does it affect the rest of the MCU? Does making this a film change very much? Unfortunately, the answer is pretty unclear at this moment. Obviously, making this series a film rather than a six-part event massively changes how the story will be told and will most likely leave out some side storylines and things of that nature. But it will most likely be seriously changed from its original intention. The show was meant to follow up Secret Invasion, which premieres in the spring of 2023. We now know for a fact that Armor Wars is not even in production as of this recording. And it appears as though the production start date isn't for quite some time. So will this film still be a direct follow-up to Secret Invasion? While I think there will be some plot overlap and some character development that will be followed up on between these projects, I think these projects will be years apart and have so much content in between them. There is simply no way these two projects are meant to be directly connected anymore. It sounds to me like Armor Wars is meant to be a film that will explore the idea of Tony Stark's legacy and Rhodey's sudden responsibility to protect it, which has nothing to do with the events of Secret Invasion. Of course, from what we have heard from Marvel, they want this story to be told right, and a six-part series was clearly not the way to tell it. It sounds like they want to explore the idea of which hands are the right hands. Now that Tony is gone, should anyone have this power? Tony was the one who made the Iron Man armor, and he 
was the one who wanted to use this tech to put a suit of armor around the world. But now, there are people who seek to use this tech for other goals, including Rhodey. Obviously, he was entrusted with the armor when Tony was alive, but now that he's gone, should anybody be allowed to have this much power if they do not have the knowledge and the will to use it and care for it? It should be an amazing movie. However, it sounds like with these new changes coming to the script, it simply has nothing to do with Secret Invasion and will likely no longer be a direct correlation to it. So this simple change may actually have a huge impact on the MCU, as the coming projects may have to cut some ties with either Secret Invasion or Armor Wars due to certain events now being pushed, delayed, or cut altogether. This movie is huge for Rhodey's character and his future in the MCU. Ever since Tony Stark died, the MCU has been struggling to find its new leading character. Of course, there was Steve Rogers, but now that he's also gone, the burden of the MCU front person has fallen to nobody. Thor has fallen short, as his character has taken such a drastic turn that fans are unsure as to whether or not he's going to be the next big player in the MCU. While he is part of the big three, it is undeniable that he was never as popular in terms of being the face of the Avengers as either one of Cap or Iron Man. Doctor Strange also seemed to miss the mark, thanks to him being so abrasive and unlikable in his last few outings. Not to mention the fact that he is straddling the lion between good and evil evil, which doesn't typically make for a good team leader. That sort of leaves Captain Marvel and Spider-Man to be the next face of the Avengers, as Black Panther will most likely not be a big player in the Avengers anytime soon due to the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman. However, Spider-Man's time may be running a bit short, especially with the messy contract negotiations between Marvel and Sony, so his future is so uncertain. And Captain Marvel is so undeniably disliked among the vast majority of Marvel fans that making her a bigger player in the films would most likely alienate most of the fans and leave the MCU in shambles. So who better to replace Iron Man than Rhodey, right? Falcon is replacing Steve as Captain America in his own feature film, so why doesn't War Machine replace Iron Man in his own feature film. Making this a film makes this move so much more legit. People still seem to count the films as more legit or more impactful on the MCU than the shows, and whether or not that is the actual case, this move makes sense in terms of Rhodey's impact in the MCU. His own show would have been fine, but his own film? Now that is something that MCU fans are going to have to pay attention to. Obviously, fans would have enjoyed the content as long as it was well done. However, a film starring War Machine fighting to protect and honor the legacy of Iron Man will undoubtedly lead to some heartfelt moments. The MCU can build around the film's wicked action and new canon going forward, and hopefully they can use them to make the newest face of the Avengers. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you all in the next one.